Well, hey, ladies and gents, guys and girls, welcome to FS22 with Meme Console here on Riverview. Um, okay, there hasn't been much out this last month since really FS22 came out because, yeah, the <laughs> game maps are boring. Um, and I couldn't be bothered with them. Um, I wasn't excited by them. This is uh, the first map I've looked at and went, hmm, maybe I could play this one. So, uh, I've already been in. Uh, and I have um, already looked around and changed some of the starting equipment. Nice new map. Um, the map author does say it's still in uh, development, so uh, yeah, it could be changes, don't know. But this is our main farm. We start with actually two large cow barns for some reason. Uh, what's this? Sheep. Yep, sheep. Uh, another large cow barn and a pig sty. Um, loads of storage, as you can see. Do have a speed player. Um, some equipment. I have most of it out and about actually doing things at the moment. Um, yeah, I sort of give us an extra half a million compared to what um, you know, start a normal map with. We've got everything we needed small wise to, oh, to kick off here. Um, and if anybody wants to justify me putting half a million in, um, I don't know, the local government give us it for taking on the farm. There you go. Um, off that, we have 229,000 still in the bank. No loan. And, uh, what we get? Three fields. We have, uh, nine and ten, which are ready to harvest now. And 16, which I think is grass, I think. Where's grass? Yeah, 16 is a grass field. Um, no grass equipment at the minute, so that'll have to be looked at in the very near future. Um, I did forget to turn off uh, crop destruction when I first started the map. So, yeah, as you've seen up there, tractor-wise we have three. We have that, uh, what was it, 40, 47, 55. We have the 78, 10. Uh, we have a class dominator. Uh, stone picker, etc., etc., and there is a T6 down at the shop. Um, I will get round to the T6 in a moment because I still haven't decided where we're going to buy um, buy uh, seeds and stuff and put down the fill silo. So I'm kind of maybe going towards the viable side of things. Seems have to worry about pallets up down. Today has been the day where Jans did an update for the game and uh, broke all the auto loaders that were out. I do think I've managed to get one broken on the side of that one. Duh. Um, I have managed to get one working on the other, so... Where am I going with this? I don't know. Uh, here, I believe. So, from that... Um, yeah. So, there will have to wait and be an update before we really start doing much else. I do have one that works. It's not very big. Uh, it'll do for the time being. Again, you know, uh, another reason for not really playing as much is I'm sort of waiting for some decent mods come out to, to be able to play with, because, yeah, I'm not all good to play game and stuff. Right, so here we are. Uh, this is Canola. I do have a mod in that lets me collect straw out of And we're going to need some of that because we're going to do plenty of stuff so let's go ahead and hire the rubber on that. This map doesn't have the function on it to uh yeah this map doesn't have the function on it to send uh your vehicles to places because it hasn't got an updated traffic spline. Uh, it is something the map with wants to work on but I'm not really that worried about it because um, you'll see when we go down to the shop, I'll run down to the shop in a minute, you'll see. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like to see, um, you know, AI trying to get around this place. Let's leave that to go. Uh, apparently we're getting a 23% yield bonus in this. Uh, we're not bad to that. Um, first time I've seen that, actually. So, yeah, if I run down here, we're in the shop, first of all. And across 
Earth Ridge. You can see it's all different levels. It's one of the reasons I picked them up. I, I quite like that. Still have the traffic turned on. Probably going to end up turning that off because you know what I'm like with traffic. I hear it. Ooh, there's a boat. Okay. Oh. Uh, there's a wee town here. Uh. There is. I think this is a cell point. Yeah. She's using all the, uh, the European models for cell points and stuff. Um, no complaints about that. Just um, an observation. Uh, and this is the shop. Uh, yeah, this is the last of the purchases. Our auto load trailer that works. And uh, pallet forks and uh, our bucket over there. I've just got to take this back up. Um, yeah, I think I'll put silos down to buy seats and stuff like that. Let's see if I'm going to mess around with the pallets. I'm not trying to detach, I'm trying to attach. Yeah, that's better. Right, let's take this up to the farm. T6 is of course a mod because it wasn't included in the previous game. That's a bit jumpy. So as you can see, yeah guys, I mean I'm uh, screw on there for a bit. You can see it's all multi-level. Nice looking map. I'm sure we'll get to see it more as played. There's no point doing a run around. Yeah, I need to be zoomed in for this, don't I? There we are. Pretty big on the forestry as well. It's got all the standard productions and all here, which is pretty good. It'll be interesting to find out. I haven't really played about with this FS22 too much, guys, because I'm trying to sort of trying to leave it until I get something that was excited about playing. I've messed around bits and pieces on the test map, but nothing serious. Uh, we do have, if we're going to the shop, we do have some of our Buster stuff already. We have um, some customized ARXs and stuff. All working very well. And again, tool wise, these have been, that's been converted, that's been changed from standard in this one because no one likes that. Um, so we do have some of the Buster stuff. We haven't got a full load like we had in. 19 yet, but that will be that will come very soon. Yeah, bits and pieces line again. So let's see where we're putting this. Ah, uh, I need to take that for myself first. Of all. Probably going to be using this mostly where the animals are. So um, let's leave it over there. That's the that's pigs. Where's the sheep? There for sheep. I'll uh, we'll throw it over there because it's probably safe. We're going to be using it. So. I'll throw them into this wee store area here. I have messed around with the animals somewhat. Um, You can see the driving hasn't really improved. Uh, I've messed around with the cow barn, but the only one, you know, it's been the one with the TMR mixer. And, uh, I haven't tried any of the other TMR mixers or anything yet, so that'll be uh, an experiment and a half. And I suppose realistically, I should be looking at some grass. I do want to get into the sheep as quick as possible. Uh, there is another farm uh, we don't own on the map which has chickens on it. Uh, chickens and two. Oh, I'll see if we can find it on the map. Uh, what was it? Chickens and. This is it, yeah? No, let's down. Here's it here. Chickens and two more pigs, and. Yeah, I mean, this isn't ours at the minute, but we can buy it, so we've got 
two large pig styes and uh, chickens on here somewhere. Down here. Yeah, there they are. There. Um, why two large pig styes? I don't know. Actually, do you know what? I never looked. Um, can we sell the buildings? I need to be able to farm them. I don't know if we can, but this would be interesting to find out. I never even checked this shit. So let's go shop, construction. Alright. Well, uh, let's see if I move that. Uh, can I sell it? How do you sell it? I don't know. You can see we've got a few different bits and pieces in here. Tools, sheds. No. Nope. Uh, I mustn't be able to sell them. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay, um, maybe you can't sell them. Um, don't know, I'll have to look into that and see. Right, so that's that done. Let's go down and see what our harvesters at. Need empty pretty soon, I bet. Wow, this is really, really bad, isn't it? Um, sort of. This thing here, uh, which Jeffrey seems to like. Uh, let's see if we can break the wheels on it on this version. Why can't I get into a vehicle? There we go. It managed to break all the wheels on them in seven or nineteen. Keep saying seventeen, nineteen. So let's see if we can break the wheels in, in uh, twenty-two as well. It does have some errors. I thought we might not try it. Bad in this, hasn't it? What's that? It's not even. Wow, oh, that is terrible. Lucky enough, the hedges don't have collisions, so that's uh, a good thing. grass and Ted and wise because I haven't even looked at that stuff yet so uh, can't afford a, a self-propelled mower so let's look at more uh, there oh hello 7.3 meters oh but Excuse me, trying to buy wing backs, isn't it? Because they're what? Oh, that's that's ten meters. Ah, oh, oh, well. Back. Uh, we need a tether. Six point one seventeen. Now uh, we'll try that one. And we need a windrow. Ugh, looks horrible. Lucky enough, I went ahead and got this <laughs> the crone in. Uh, I think it might be a big bit, big a bit big for that field, but uh, do you know what? Oh, 
145. Yeah, I can buy that. And something to pick grass up, or should we bale it? Let's bale it. So, balers. Just for ease sake at the moment. Uh, wow, they're all pricey. Uh, small round baler. 78 grand. No, I don't want to wrap it. Uh, that's 22. Oh, that's that stupid small thing, isn't it? Um. Okay, I don't want that stupid small one. That's no, I'm not doing those. 48. What have we got down here? 78. 110. Wow, that's 110 grand for that. I can't afford it. Uh. Is that a wrapper as well? No. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and just buy that. Wow, we spent 200 grand there. Okay. Um, where is my T6? There's it there. Let's drop those front arms. Okay, so just to make this quick, guys, if I jump out, I'm going to reset that because it resets back to the shop. Uh, there. Yes, reset. Let's go ahead and jump in it. Yeah. Uh, let's find where our mowers are. Oh wow. They fit on the front and the back, is it? Weights, weights, weights. Where's the weights at tonight? Oh, there they are. Uh, let's have a peek. Uh, I don't know what size of weight I'm going to need. Um, let's try that one. I'll do it in the Holland Blue. Bye. Yes. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, she's not going to let me drop it with the mower. Oh, okay, that's neat. Uh, okay, that works. Let's go up and see our grass feed night. Get to it. Why are people meant to drive for that on like that, eh? This is the nippy track of this. Grass feed is over here somewhere. Field. Uh, it's a shape of guys, I think. I'm going to put head on them. Let's go ahead and get the head on them. Over it. Over that. Over that. Over that. Over that.
think I should have had more power from this tractor, you know. Um, we've always got our loan, we can still do loan. Uh, but I'm not really interested in taking loan, I just need a bigger tractor. Uh, at the minute. Let's see if we're for any case we need anything. Never saved any from the time. Okay, this is getting a bit monotonous. All these trees are very, very close to the edge. It's going to be a nightmare for uh, AI for doing these things. Come on, let's take a paddle down here, man. Come on, put her in, you know, put the foot down. T4 or T6 could handle this thing. It is a very pretty map line. Love people cold calling your door this time. Arrgh! Go away. Anyway, interruptions, you wouldn't see it anyway because it should basically paused and I'll start it. So I, I can't believe I brought the wrong war. It just looks so good. I don't even know what this meant to be going on. I never even checked that, did I? This could be the speed of this thing. Oh. Look. Uh, needs 180 horsepower. Uh, okay. Uh, it's meant to go 13. What have we got on that there? For some reason, this is on 175. What was that said it needed? 180. Is it only five horsepower off? That slows it down that much. Get a life. I might have to have a look at an XML here. Stick some more horsepower in this. Believe me. What's my other tractors in? Just out of interest. No, it's not. It's not on screen. Not screen. So, medium tractors. That one there is 190. That one there is 175. So let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring that one down then. You know. Uh, am I going to have it before? Probably not. I don't know. Oh, for a change. Let's here. Let's go over there. Take a quick nip right here. That's what you get for being greedy. It is nicely laid out. Now, the stone walls do have collision. Obviously, heads don't, as you can see. I think is this one that only goes 20 miles an hour before we're driving back, but hey. Has he finished already? I think he's finished. Oh, turned around my ass. Okay, it's a tree. Seconds. I'm going to throw a weight on the back of this. I think I have two weights up here. These older ones I think are far better. I don't know why, they just. for the look of them. They have a ton of circles. It's bloody rubbish, man. Wait, let's go get our motors on. See if this has any better time with it. Oh, 
Oh, wake me up when it gets over. Uh, need that far to go. I have to say, like, they have done a nice job with the, uh, the models and the engines and stuff, having the color and whatnot. Shh, tell Jans I'm giving them compliments. Even the fleet, the, the fleetings, the, whatever a fleet is, but the fleet feels don't. That flat pretty rolling. Um, I'm sure we'll get up around some of the uh, forestry areas in a bit as well, show you the difference in there. Right, so here is our moor. So this should have 10 extra horsepower compared to what's required for this machine. Okay, so that's this is a learning curve. This is a learning curve. We're going to have to pay attention to horsepower rates. I think we did probably in the other one, but look a bit. Five horsepower slowed down that much better. So let's get this on the front. Or oh wow, it, it makes a hell of a difference, doesn't it? I find that in this game though, the tractors seem to be take off a lot slower, the speed of it and um, Wow, okay, small hill. I don't know, is there something different with this compared to the other ones? Because you know, it never slowed them down that much. So, we'll tell the, uh, we're going to see, we're going to ted this, we're going to build this, and then we are looking. Oh, hold on, she can take grass, let's build it first of all. And the next couple we'll do will be uh, ten of them, ten of the cows, just across this morning. We still have to lime it. Oh, how do we look that far? I don't get to like with them Jans maps, man. Seriously, you, you turn the play state on, it tells you the bloody map needs to Right, so let's, uh, let's see, where's the best place? Probably the crossway, isn't it? So let's see the, to do that. If I do it that way, for the reason we just did. We can hire work on this, that's good. I missed a bit, but hey. Right, let's leave that to that. Let's go get our harvester emptied. Okay, so this is the first of canola. Again, the canola straw is a mod. Come on. I'm not missing those bits. Not a chance, man. Fair enough, you do this. Never mind, miss bits. Uh, let's see if we can turn that on. Do that. Put the spread on. Did I miss bits? I don't say tail. Look at that. And at the top, looks like we missed a little strip here though. I don't know very much, but every year, you know, every penny counts here. And then we'll get it on to the wheat field. Straw. Uh, well, I want to build this. Probably. Anyway, I don't know. Some 
stage. Uh, everything takes weed apart. So everything takes uh, straw apart from the uh, sheep, I think. Oh, chickens don't take straw. Do right, so there's that field done. Just over 7,000 litres of whatever product we have here. Is it me or is this taking longer? Right, uh oh, come on. Come on, hurry up. There we are. Take that over and we'll leave it in front of our next feed, which we'll probably get around to the next day. And then this will be First of all, though. We'll do a head on the bottom this one this time. And just come across. Get around that on the next day. Uh you, let's go get you empty and see what the sailors look like. Actually, I think I might have to sell this, but it's in the only one bin and maybe bad timber as well for selling. I don't know, I, I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah. Do I have a silo this far? <gasps> Do I don't have a silo this far? Oh, oh, hold on. There's another bit up here, isn't there? Or is that the house? Another wee bit up there, look. I think that's the silos. I'm sure I've seen the silo this far. Yeah, there's there. Oh, a big silos come up here as well. Okay, cool. If I really wanted to, I do have um, a harvester that changes the straw in the silage <laughs> or in the chaff. I don't know, loads, loads into there. Did we start with any product, actually? I never looked at that. Uh, no, we don't. Okay. So we don't start with anything. Interesting. Let's back to the field. I have a feeling those are meant to turn. The mud guards that are meant to turn with the thing, but, uh, well. Are we on that bit too? Uh, let's see. Uh, bye, where am I? Right, so I'm here. Do we oh, we do own that bit of grass field too there. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, I suppose I'm going to really have to check the bailer now to make sure it's gone big. <laughs> I've got enough horsepower to use it, but hey, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's have a look and see what our... Power is getting along quite well, actually, isn't it? Missing bits, but yeah, it's shape of the field. Um, I'm going to let this go on those guys, and uh, that's going to be episode one here on Riverview. Any comments, questions? Please feel free to leave them and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for me, for now, bye bye.